Hello friends, welcome to the Fundamental Pharmacy. Today we are going to discuss about the second part of uh, blood from uh, human anatomy and physiology. Welcome you all. In the last lecture, we have already discussed about the red blood cells, hemoglobin, hemocrat value, etc. etc. In today's uh, today's video or today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the वाइट ब्लड सेल्स ठीक है मेरे वीडियो में ज्यादा कुछ आपको एनिमेशन वगैरह नहीं दिखेगा इट्स जस्ट सिंपल जो भी डॉक्यूमेंट है जो भी नोट्स बनाए हैं मैंने उसके ऊपर आपको थोड़ा सा एक्सप्लेन करने की कोशिश करता हूँ ज्यादा कुछ ताम जाम मेरे वीडियो में रहता नहीं लेकिन जो भी रहता है क्वालिटी कंटेंट रहता है दो विल लाइक इट आई नो मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल विल लाइक इट ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वाइट ब्लड सेल्स व्हाइट ब्लड सेल्स आर आल्सो नोन एज ल्यूकोसाइट्स व्हाइट ब्लड सेल्स आर आल्सो नोन एज ल्यूकोसाइट्स देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ व्हाइट ब्लड सेल्स देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ व्हाइट ब्लड सेल्स फर्स्ट वन इज ग्रेन्युलोसाइट्स एंड सेकंड वन इज ए ग्रेन्युलोसाइट्स दे आर व्हाइट ब्लड सेल्स आर डिवाइडेड इनटू टू टाइप्स फर्स्ट वन इज ग्रेन्युलोसाइट्स सेकंड वन इज ए ग्रेन्युलोसाइट्स ओके सो ग्रेन्युलोसाइट्स एंड ए ग्रेन्युलोसाइट्स why they are called as granulocytes and agranulocytes so granulocytes will have polymorph polymorphonuclear nuclear or polymorphonucleus granulocytes will have polymorphonucleus that means they will have different lobes in their nucleus some cells will have two lobes some cells will have three four five so on so three four five lobes so that's why they are known as polynuclear polymorphonuclear leukocytes okay polymorphonuclear leukocytes and the examples of uh, such cells are neutrophils eosinophils and basophils okay so next one is agranulocytes agranulocytes so monocytes and lymphocytes are the examples of agranulocytes okay so white blood cells are large in the number as compared to red blood cells white blood cells are large in number as compared to the red blood cells but they are only 1% of total blood volume okay so they are only 1% and all of you must be aware about that that white blood cells are white blood cells has a function in the defense and immunity of body okay so uh, this point is clear next one is life span of uh, wbc so we have different types of wbcs like neutrophils eosinophils and basophils okay so these are the three neutrophils neutrophils uh, sorry these are the three white blood cells neutrophils eosinophils and basophils uh, why they are uh, called as neutrophils eosinophils and basophils depending upon their staining properties depending upon their staining property they are classified as neutrophils eosinophils and basophils okay so uh, here we can we use two dyes for uh, the staining of white blood cells okay that is eosin and methylene blue these are the two dye eosin and methylene blue okay so depending upon the staining by this dye they are classified neutrophils for example they will be stained by both eosin as well as eosin as well as methylene blue they will be stained by both dyes and they will appear as a purple in color that's why they are neutral they are neutral they are not at a side of eosin or they are not uh, at a side of methylene blue that's why they are neutral and that's why they are known as neutrophils okay and they will have a life span of 2 to 5 days okay neutrophils are stained by both eosin and methylene blue they appear as a purple in color after staining and they will have life span of 2 to 5 days then next one is eosinophils okay eosinophils they will have life span of 7 to 12 days eosinophils as the name indicate it is stained only by eosin dye hence it is known as eosinophils eosinophils are stained by eosin only 
eosin dye only that's why they are known as eosinophils next one is basophils 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 means they are uh, stained by basic alkaline methylene blue solution okay so they are stained by alkaline methylene blue solution that's why they are known as basophils and they will have a lifespan of 12 to 15 days and basophils also consist of heparin okay so they are heparin containing cells remember this amongst the wbc only basophils are heparin containing cells okay so next type of uh, wbc is monocytes so monocytes will have two to five days of lifetime then lymphocytes next one is lymphocytes lymphocytes will have 0.5 to 1 day lifespan okay so these are the different types of wbc their lifespan basophil eosinophil eosinophil basophils then uh, monocytes lymphocytes these are the different type of wbcs okay so next is platelets or thrombocytes next point is platelets or thrombocytes okay so you know that platelets and thrombocytes are important in blood clotting okay they causes the clotting of blood or they prevent the bleeding or they cease the bleeding and their lifespan is around 8 to 11 days okay so this was this was all about the wbc so next important point is different type of blood clotting factors a important point a different types of blood clotting factors so every year they every year they used to ask question from this so you you can find in different previous papers of gpat and other uh, papers like NIPER, government pharmacy most of the time they have asked this point so we will discuss about the different types of clotting factors okay here we have a table factor number and their name and description so different clotting factors are denoted in the numbers okay first of all clotting factors are denoted in the numbers by the latin numbers so we have 13 clotting factors okay so we will discuss it one by one so factor number one factor number one is known as fibrinogen factor number two is known as prothrombin factor number three is known as tissue factor or it is also known as thromboplastin factor number four is calcium okay factor number five is known as labile factor pro axillary or ac globulin remember factor number five is known as labile factor pro axillary and ac globulin factor number six is not there there is factor number seven okay so factor number seven factor number seven is known as stable factor or pro convertin okay then factor number eight factor number eight is known as anti hemopolic globulin okay anti hemopolic globulin or it is also known as anti hemopolic factor a it is also known as anti hemopolic factor a so next one is nine factor number nine factor number nine is also known as christmas factor factor number nine is also known as christmas factor it is a plasma thromboplastin component okay it is a plasma thromboplastin component and it is also known as anti hemophilic factor b okay factor number nine is anti hemophilic factor b factor number eight is anti hemophilic factor a okay and there is also one anti hemophilic factor c that is known as factor number 11 okay then next one is factor number 10 so factor number 10 is also known as stuart power factor factor number 10 is known as stuart power factor and uh, it was the question asked in gpat 2019 okay factor number 10 factor number 10 is known as stuart power factor ne next one is factor number 11 factor number 11 is known as plasma thromboplastin antecedent factor okay plasma thromboplastin antecedent factor or it is also known as anti hemophilic factor c okay anti hemophilic factor c so factor number factor number 8 is anti hemophilic factor number factor number 8 is anti hemophilic factor a factor number 9 is anti hemophilic factor b and factor number 11 is anti hemophilic factor c okay clear it the next one is factor number 12 so 
फैक्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व इज नोन एज हैगमन फैक्टर फैक्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व इज नोन एज हैगमन फैक्टर ओके फैक्टर नंबर थर्टीन इज नोन एज फाइब्रीन स्टेबिलिटी फैक्टर ओके देन अमॉन्ग्स दीज थर्टीन फैक्टर्स फ्यू फैक्टर्स आर विटामिन के और कैल्शियम डिपेंडेंट ओके सो विटामिन के इज इसेंशियल फॉर सिंथेसिस ऑफ फैक्टर नंबर सेकंड फैक्टर नंबर सेवन फैक्टर नंबर नाइन एंड फैक्टर नंबर टेन सो रिमेंबर दिस दिस एग्जांपल्स ऑफ फैक्टर फैक्टर विटामिन के इज इसेंशियल फॉर द सिंथेसिस ऑफ फैक्टर सेकंड देन सेवन देन नाइन देन टेन दिस वॉज द क्वेश्चन आस्ट इन जीपे टू सो दीज आर द different type of blood clotting factor this is important for competitive exams remember this so next point is uh, different types of plasma proteins and their molecular weight their functions so it is also important you should know the different types of plasma protein what are their function their molecular weight you have to memorize it because you see uh, last year there was a question from this they can ask you the molecular weight or function of plasma proteins so we will discuss one by one different type of plasma protein so first one is albumin which will have molecular albumin first one is albumin which will have molecular weight of 67000 to 69000 delta okay ye uh, last year mein gpet 2020 mein pucha tha this was the question in gpet 20 2020 that what is the molecular weight of albumin so it is around 67000 to 69000 okay then what is the function of albumin albumin is mainly involved in the function of transportation it is a transport protein okay then it is also involved in the regulation of ph it is also involved in the regulation of ph it will act as a buffer and it is also involved in the regulation of osmotic pressure okay next one is globulin so next plasma protein is globulin it will have molecular weight around 90000 to 1 lakh 1.5 lakh delta okay it will have molecular weight of 90000 to 1.5 lakh per delta and uh, what is the function of globulin there are actually there are different type of globulin alpha globulin beta globulin and gamma globulin so out of these alpha and beta globulins are involved in the function of transportation and whereas gamma globulins they are the depends of body okay so these are three types of globulins alpha globulins beta globulins and gamma globulins so gamma globulins have function of defense and alpha and beta will have function of transportation so next next plasma protein is fibrinogen so it will have molecular weight of 3.4 lakh to 5 lakh delta okay and it is involved in blood clotting then alpha alpha 1 alpha 1 acid glycoprotein it will have molecular weight of around 4000 delta and and it is also known as it is also known as orso mucoid it is also known as orso mucoid and it is a indicator for acute inflammation that means the level of alpha 1 acid glycoprotein will be increased in case of acute inflammation or acute inflammatory diseases for example arthritis arthritis mein iska level badh jayega it is a indicator okay then next uh, plasma protein is alpha 1 globulin alpha 1 globulin will have molecular weight of 59000 delta alpha 2 globulin will have molecular weight of 13400 delta okay so alpha 2 globulin is also known as ceruloplasmin remember this alpha 2 globulin is also known as ceruloplasmin it is also known as ceruloplasmin peroxidase enzyme which is responsible for incorporation of iron into transferrin so transferrin ek protein hota hai so ceruloplasmin or alpha 2 globulin is responsible for incorporation of iron into transferrin okay 
so next one is lipoprotein so lipoprotein will have molecular weight around 2 to 3.4 lakhs okay and they are involved in transportation of liquid and the last uh, plasma protein is hemoglobin okay so hemoglobin will have mold means 64500 delton okay and the hemoglobin is involved in the transportation of oxygen it is a oxygen transporter okay so these were these so these are the few examples of plasma proteins and their molecular weight so it is important last year they have asked the molecular weight of albumin uh, they might uh, next year they might ask any any plasma protein amongst the amongst the table so you must uh, read thoroughly these tables okay portion okay so boys if you want any kind of these kind of notes you can contact me on these numbers we these kinds of notes i used to provide in our paid group we have different kinds of groups so if you want to join for these kind of notes you can whatsapp me on this number this is my whatsapp number this is my calling number okay then we have uh, different types of uh, groups free i we out around 34 free groups we have one paid group we used to have day every year the paid group okay and the last year 85 percent members of paid group have already qualified okay you can visit our website you can download the reference books which is which are uploaded over there then you can call me directly for guidance okay we also have one book published you can order that book also you can order that book from amazon flipkart or uh, or directly from me so this was the book uh, and from this book there was a uh, 35 mcqs in 2018 there was 23 mcqs in 2019 and recently there was a around 28 mcqs in chipad 2020 okay thank you thank you very much